patriotic. I, I call the FBI at least three times a week on my dad. I call. <laughs> I also call the Department of Homeland Security, ICE, and the Mossad because that increases the amount of money and I get paid. And you all know I love money. <laughs> I actually make more money turning in all my dad's friends. I've seen all their photos hanging at the post office. Arf, you're on the chopping block next. Aaron, you're okay because you're Jewish. <laughs> you can't imagine what it's like being the son of an Arab father and a, and a Jewish mother. Every day is an intifada in our house. <laughs> my mom also spends a ton of money on green paint each year. She painted a green line around my dad's office and she called it the Gaza Strip. <laughs> she also keeps telling us that this year may be the year we make that special trip to the holiest place on earth for Jewish people, Miami. <laughs> ne next year we hope to go to Israel. The first time we moved into our house, it took my mom all day to find the kitchen. She, sa she says it's like my father. It doesn't exist. <laughs> The biggest battlefield is not, at the, not on stage, it's actually at the dinner table. Because my mom does not want my dad to cook any of the Arab food he likes. She says we should eat more Jewish food, so we order a ton from Mo's Chinese kitchen. <laughs> if the Jews control the news media, then how come I don't get a discount on my cable television? <laughs> my dad also wanted to buy me an Xbox game about an Arab and Israeli war game. But I told him, Dad, what's the point in playing this if we know who's going to win? Yeah. <laughs> you should have you been to my bar mitzvah. There, were, um, there was a huge party and there were Arabs and Jews in the same room and only three fights happened in the first five minutes. Uh. Yeah, it was also very, very expensive because we had a metal detector disguised as a photo booth that the Mossad sent in. <laughs> <laughs> and, it, and, it, and all the photos that were taken were sent directly to Tel Aviv. Yeah. Whenever we go through airport security, that's the toughest for my dad because my mom hands me her purse and pats my dad down. She says yeah. she, she doesn't trust the airport security. They don't do a good enough job. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much for uh, Ara, uh, my son Aaron, and Aaron Freeman. Back to Aaron. By the way, that was Aaron's first comedy performance. Yeah, wonderful.